Hello friends, uh, I'm going to talk to you people today about the heart attacks in young people. What is the definition of young people? When we find that the heart attacks occur below the age of 40, we consider that is happening in the young people. Now, although we know a lot about what causes heart attacks, we also have understood a lot about the treatment of heart attack. But then what is it that leads to more frequent heart attacks in young people? What are those factors? Right, let us inspect one by one. First of all, currently our methods of detecting heart attack have been so remarkably better than what it was in the past and what we were probably missing in the past, now we are recognizing and detecting. But that is still not enough to explain such a huge difference in the number of heart attacks in the past and now. We think, when I see a young man with a heart attack, most commonly I find three important factors. Family history, high cholesterol level, and smoking. These three. Then, what is it that changed that the heart attacks are more frequent? Was the family history not there? Yes, of course it was there. Was cholesterol levels were not high? Yes, they were high. Then what does it change that in the current era, which is um, clearly can explain, which can clearly can explain the increase in number of heart attacks now? Believe me, between 2000 to 2016, the heart attack incidence in young people is rising by 2% per annum. One more thing very disturbing thing. Formerly it was less, but today one out of five heart attacks is occurring in the patient below the age of 40 years. So these two things are very, very important that we'll have to explain why it is so. I think what has changed now over a period of years is A, smoking of course, and number two, stress. I think stress plays a very, very significant role in young people. Look at our lifestyle inflation, poverty, stress of working, traveling, your place of work, the situations are very demanding. At every time, every occasion, every 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 act that you do, it is attached with stress. So these are the important factors. Also we find that the people in general, despite education, do not report on time to the hospital. We must inspect the client. First of all, there is a denial. He gets discomfort in the chest, which he tries to explain it away that this may be gas, this may be indigestion, maybe I had a pani puri, maybe because of that. Then he tolerates it for a little while, but when it starts increasing, he wakes up his wife and tells that I've got some problem. Now, what happens is the wife is not uh, wife is not uh, usually taking major decisions. So before moving into the hospital, she wants to call the family doctor or wants to call her own father. And that is how it is delayed. The traffic, ambulances are not respected on our, our roads and the traffic is increasing ever so much that by the time you reach from your place of stay to the hospital, it takes a while. And believe me, the reporting time is much, much longer in women Young women also start getting heart attacks nowadays. Why they get it, we know very well. The currently working women have a dual role to play. Stress at home, stress at work. So friends, what we have to do? Well, we all have discussed time and again on the various fora that you should have a good diet, you should be very, very disciplined, and you should not be smoking at all. That is very true. And I have to I have to explain to you that usually the smokers have smoked their first cigarette between the age of 16 and 23. It starts for a heck of it. But later on, some people get addicted to it and then they become chronic smoker. That I think is